Hey guys, this is Kathy. Welcome back to my channel, Kathy's Favorite Things. You guys, I'm so super excited. I'm here. I have to make a project for one of my collaborations that's going on right now, and it's the Halloween and Fall collab that I'm hosting with Patty. And um, you guys know that we have been hosting collaborations uh, through the entire year, and it's been so much fun. We've had so many different ones, and we're going to continue with them um, next year as well. So if you haven't joined us this year, uh, make sure you stay tuned for our upcoming ones, okay? And um, so I have to create something that is going to be an altered item. And I already have a project done, and it's an altered uh, jar. It's a pickle jar. And you're going to see that in the video. And I did, didn't do a process video on that because really it's something super, super simple that anybody can do. But um, this is going to be my other project. And I recently ordered some envelopes. These are six by nine envelopes. So six by nine envelopes. They are tw 24 pounds, it says, uh, the material. The, thickness of the paper and there are I think a hundred in the box um, so I'm going to use this and I'm going to make an altered um, journal or an album whatever you want to call it okay okay guys so like I was saying this is going to be um, an altered album or an altered journal and it's going to be little like this so what I what I'm going to do is just fold them in half and that's those are going to be my pages okay so and then we're also going to be using this treat bags from Dollar Tree you guys if you are a Dollar Tree addict and shopper like I am you have seen this in the Christmas uh, not the Christmas but the uh, birthday aisle you know where they have all the different uh, treat bags they also have this ones in different colors and different patterns stripes pocket dots and zigzag and whatever you name it right so you're going to need this bag and if you don't have this ones in the same color you can just use any treat bags that you have at home even those are uh, just you know sandwich bags that you get from either walmart or also dollar tree in just you know the brown paper bag you can use those ones too because you can embellish them right so these bags they come like this in a bag with 10 different baggies so what you're going to need to do is fold this down, this flap down, like so. And you're going to cut that with your scissor or your paper trimmer, whatever. I'm just using scissor because everybody has a scissor at home. So you're just going to cut it. See, and then this is the bottom of the bag. So... You can keep this because these pieces of paper you can use to embellish also, so you can save those pieces. So that, that's what you're gonna have, right? For your bag. So now this, you're gonna fold it in half also. And this is also going to be part of your journal. Try to, you know, fold it in the middle. Like so. And now you have more pages. So I'm gonna move that aside and I already have some already folded here. See, so I have three envelopes and three bags. So let me move this up also. And let me take this apart and I will just show you what I did here. So this is one of the envelopes and this opens here, right? So this is gonna be a pocket. And this, I'm not going to open on the side here because this is going to be my cover. And then I have one of the green ones here. And then I have another one of the blue envelopes. And since this pocket is here on this side, 
I'm going to alternate, see, and I'm going to put this opening on this other side. And this I will just cut with my scissor here to make it another pocket. Now I have another bag. This is an orange one, and I'm going to put it here. And I'm just alternating, you know, the colors. So you can put that there. And then there is another envelope. And since the opening is on the side, I'm just going to put this one here and I will cut that side and leave this pocket here. And I will um, remove this adhesive part here. And I will glue a piece of uh, ribbon here or a piece of paper, maybe one of this ones. And I will just glue it there um, so it doesn't, you know, get uh, closed shut there because I want it to keep it like a pocket, right? Alrighty, so now we're going to put another baggie here. And I don't know if I should do another green one since this is going to be halloween maybe i'll just do green and orange so maybe i will just do that so like that so now we have how many pages we have the cover we have this and they're all going to have pockets because we're going to be cutting uh, the ones that are closed like this and it's going to be a pocket too so you're going to have a lot of pockets to play with and where i'm going to do to put this together it's going to i'm um, going to sew it by hand with this wax thread that i have here in black i don't know if i should do black i'm gonna do black because it's going to be halloween so it's going to be black i have my thimble for my finger i have my pokey tool and i also have my needles that i have here and these needles um, are part of a set, um, a kit that I got from Amazon. This one here, Pepito Leather Wax Thread. And I, I got this from Amazon. And I have been using this. Um, those are all the color threads that are in here. I have a silver or gray and lighter, um, like a yellowish and some browns and greens. So uh, it has a wide arrangement of color wax threads that I have been using in making journals. And you have not seen all the, the ones that I have been working on, but I have been making a few. So yeah, so if you're interested in uh, creating stuff like this, you actually do not have to do it if you don't, you know, because this one is light, it's going to have not very many pages, but I do want to sew it by hand anyway. If you have elastic, you can just put an elastic here and it will hold, but I just want it to be extra sturdy. And But if you do elastic, the advantage on doing an elastic closure here in the middle is that you can add more envelopes if you want, if you want to, you know, but I just want to make something cute and little, so I'm just going to sew it and then I'm going to dangle some charms out of the wax thread. So I'm going to um, sew this and then I have to start decorating it. And for that, I will be using some cute Halloween stuff that I have from previous years. I have this doodle bag, doodle bag design. This is um, Candy Carnival. So I'm going to be using this. See, there are 90 pieces here. Well, less now because I've been using it uh, previous years. But this is Odd and Ants from Candy Carnival, doodle bag design. And this one is the um, Candy Carnival Chit Chat and it has 90 pieces. And I still have quite a few pieces in here. So um, I'm excited about decorating with this in a more um, playful way. It's going to be super cute. So I'm excited to see the way this is going to turn out. So I'm just going to start sewing this. Okay, you guys, thanks a lot for watching. Don't go anywhere. You guys, I forgot to mention something. Uh, before you sew your signature, or if you're going to sew it like I am, make sure you poke the holes on where you're going to want to poke your needle through. Um, so do that part first. And so the paper's done, uh, move around, use something to clump 
them down, you know, to hold them down. So what we're gonna do, I'm just gonna poke holes here. So every two little polka dots, I'm gonna poke holes and then I'm gonna start sewing. So I'm gonna use this one here, this one here, and this one here and poke a hole with my pokey tool thing here. And that's what I'm going to need for my sewing, okay? So, just need to, see? There we go, that's our first hole over here. See that needle? There. That's my pokey tool. So it went through all the um, envelopes and stuff. And we're gonna do the same here. And after I'm done with the sewing, I'm going to reinforce the spine. I'm gonna cover it with some trim on the outside or something. So now I'm gonna poke the other one. Now I just hold it tight and push it through your papers there. So now I have three holes, so it's only going to have a, yeah, I'm only gonna do a three. I wonder if I should do, maybe I should do two more, hmm. or one more, four, one here, and one here. Yeah, maybe I should do four. Okay, well, I think that's, maybe three is okay. But just poke your holes first, and then it's going to be easier for you to put your book together that way, okay? Alrighty, guys. Okay, you guys, so I have um, already sewn this here. Sorry about that noise. Augustine is near me and he's uh, with his tablet. Okay, so now I ended up doing, um, poking two more holes. So I did five. This is the pamphlet stitch. And I did use the black wax thread that I had in my kit. And here, this is, I always cut too much thread and I'm gonna have a long piece left over like you see now, but I'm gonna add some charms here at the bottom. So I'm not gonna cut it yet. I'm gonna look through my charms and see which one I'm gonna use. Probably some cute one like a gummy bear or something like that, you know. So now we have to start the fun part, which is going to be decorating this. And we're gonna have to decorate the outside and the inside. And I'm gonna cover this here. Um, so I have some papers that I took out of my stash with some Halloween colors that are going to be like good for the uh, pieces of ephemera that I'm gonna use for decoration. I have this. Uh, like an orangey glitter. It's from Michaels. This is also an orangey paper, but it's shimmery. It's also from uh, Michaels Paper Pad, one of those hot buys. Um, I have some purple glitter paper, also from Michaels, and this uh, like a Tiffany blue glitter. It's from the same paper pad from Michaels. Uh, another piece of the shimmer paper, so leftover piece. This is also from um, Doodle Bag, as you can see here at the bottom. It says Doodle Bag Design. It's not the Candy Carnival. This is from Pumpkin Party. It's a double sided cardstock with um, cut apart pieces. But this goes perfectly also with the Candy Carnival that I have. Because it's the same, it's the same colors, and it's also a doodle bag. So I think um, I might end up using some of this to, like, you know, put in some little pockets inside, maybe, or for the cover. I'm not sure. So I took that one out of my stash as well, and I have this pink shimmer paper also from Michaels. So I'm going to be using this for the cover and the insides of my book. So I'm just going to start measuring and cutting. And then we're going to start the fun part, which is going to be put this together and decorate it. Okay. 
When I was sewing this, um, I did go with my needle uh, and I poked this bag here and it has a tiny, tiny hole over here. I don't know if you can see right there. It's a tiny, tiny hole. But, you know, I can cover that with, um, like I said, a piece of the paper or an ephemera piece <clears throat> and it's not going to be visible and it's also on this side here, but it's, it's going to be covered. So it's it should be fine you know there's nothing to worry about but something else that we have to do before i start um decorating this it's i have to open the sides here because i'm gonna have a pocket there so i have my scissor here and i'm just going to cut here a tiny tiny piece just to open uh pocket if I don't do it now then I will end up forgetting and that would be a mistake so now we have opened another pocket there see you see so now over here, I'm gonna decorate that. And this is open here because we cut the side of the bag, remember? This is a pocket. And now I have to cut this one here too, to make it another pocket. Or if you wanna have, instead of a side pocket, if you wanna have a, a pocket on the top, you can cut it at the top here. You know, we can do that maybe. Should we do a top pocket or a side pocket? I kind of like the side pockets. I'm going to make another one with top pockets. But this one I'm going to put on the side here also. So I'm just going to cut, like I said, a tiny piece. I know that it might not be straight because I'm always shaky. So anyway, it's fine. There we go. So we have another pocket. So now we have a lot of pockets to put stuff in and to send to a crafty friend. And then we can put some ruffles here, you know, and it's going to be super cutely decorated yeah so now it's the fun process okay so we're gonna start i'm gonna cut the paper i'm gonna measure it cut it and then i'll come back so we can uh put it together okay thank you guys for watching okay you guys i was gonna show you how i um was decorating this book that i it's actually like a mini album and at the beginning, I did show you how I put it together using the envelopes that I had gotten from Amazon and the treat bags that I got from Dollar Tree that I have a bunch of. And I wanted to show you how I was going to decorate this, but the video ended up being super long and I didn't think you guys were going to be watching, you going to be interested in watching such a long, long video. So this is how it came out and i think it's super cute i did add this dangle on the side because i think it adds you know some cuteness to it i did use some of the charms that i received recently in my birthday challenge um most of the charms that i use uh this and this and this came from liana from it's a deal and then the gummy bears i had and i used some pink chain that I also have in my stash that I had gotten from AliExpress. The papers that I used to decorate this mini album is the one that I show you at the beginning of the video. All my um, cut apart pieces from Doodlebug that I had, the Candy Carnival, and some of the other ones that I used on the inside are also from Pumpkin Party, it's, which is also a Doodlebug collection, you guys. And it came out super pretty, and I know that you saw this in detail in the uh, project share video that I did for the collaboration, because this is one of my altered items 
from our collab that we hosted with Patty. But this is a quick, quick look. Um, this is the uh, the counterparts from that big uh, 12 by 12 uh, sheet that I show you and I cut them all apart and I used it in this mini album. This mini album, I'm gonna sell it. So if you guys are interested in uh, purchasing this, send me an email and we i can tell you how much i'm asking for this it does have a mini mini uh, notebook in there that i put together and it has some a lot of pockets where you can store pictures or memorabilia and stuff like that all the paper is um the glittery paper it's from uh, michael's and then all the kind of parts are doodle bag um they're all, nothing is um, photocopied or anything. They're all like original papers. So, and it has a lot of pockets where you can uh, store stuff and all of that. So I hope you like the way it came out. I'm super happy with it. And I have been making more of them for other holidays also, so. I will probably post pictures of that or maybe show them in another video to see if you guys are interested in any of those because I'm making them for Christmas and stuff like that too. So you guys, um, send me an email, like, like I said, if you want to get it. Um, and I hope you like the video. Okay, you guys, thanks a lot for watching. Have a great day. Bye.